Hey guys, next video we're going to do is showing you how to dispose of personal property in clear data. We remember the old system of disposing of personal property, which typically required walking our personal property room, looking for dates and saying, well, from this date back, this is 30 days, and we're just going through and digging through all of this property. It's much easier now. Again, kind of using that thought process of everything that we do in the office gets translated to our teams in the field or in the warehouse working with customer personal property or vehicle redemption. It's the same exact concept with personal property disposal. So you remember we came to this personal property tab over here earlier when we wanted to do a personal property redemption. Well, now in this case, we're going to go ahead and hit disposal. So how do we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to see the stored number. Most state laws have a certain amount of days that we're required to store personal property. So you can see already that we have, even though this is a test account and some of these numbers might be unrealistic, like this has been in personal property for 331 days. So I can say, you know what? I want to sort that by descending and I'm going to pull up the oldest accounts first, right? So now I can select these accounts, one, two, five, it doesn't matter, 100, I can hit disposal. Now, when I've hit disposal, the date and time that I want to dispose by, I could say, hey, these need to be done today or they need to be done tomorrow. Notes, you can put any notes that you want to here for that property disposal, but we're just going to say we're going to add it to the disposal list. Now, let's head over to the app. So remember, when we looked at the app before, we had our lineup section, we had our release section that we were working off of, and now we have personal property. So personal property, the, the redemption of personal property would be done here as well. So remember, vehicle release, personal property, easy way to remember, remember it. So we can have our lot location. We're going to be looking at our Mesa office out of our test account. And then we have property disposition. So we can come in here and say, you know what? I want to now dispose of personal property. I could redeem it by simply clicking redemption, but I'm not going to do that. I want to see my disposal list. I'm going to hit apply. So now I can see when that property needs to be disposed by, the vehicle that it was attached to, the customer's name, and then what location. So you can see right here, it is set for disposal, 336 days, it is ready to be disposed. This is super easy to do. I'm simply going to click it, and I'm gonna say, I am done with the disposal. So just like everything, I'm gonna go to the next car, I could say, you know what, done with disposal, I'm done with disposal on this, and these will start to fall out of your list of things to do. So when your field agents come in, or your lot attendants, and they come in and they say, okay, I'm gonna dispose of personal property today, they're gonna go dispose of all the personal property, and when they're done, they're not gonna have anything less left on that list. Just like anything that we do in clear data, it's updated in real time, so they'll be able to go through any of these tasks in the app and see what they have to do.